That's pretty so far. Oh. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, of course you do. Of course you do. <laughs> An artist I follow uh, recently got into it. I recognize this character. Oh, no. <laughs> that was fast. Oh, that was really uh, fast. I knew you knew what it was. Like, because you're like, I don't think I know what it is. And then you saw, you're like, I know what this is. <laughs> Look, okay. I'm a simple whammon, okay? I follow Japanese art Twitter, and then I go on the For You section, and then as soon as I see something that's brand new, and I'm like, oh, I don't know who these characters are, instant like. And then I go look at their feet, and I'm like, oh, wow, I really like this. Oh, that's a really well-drawn ding-dong. Mm, I like that, too. And, and now I know what it's from. Hey, I meant to look this up. So uh, the thing is, I originally thought this was a yaoi or, like, you know, Fujo stuff, but it's not. You're playing in. You're, you're playing as a female in first person. And this is doing well. Where is it, it doing well? Who who's buying the gotcha ness of it? I believe it was worldwide. So Where typically, you know? with with gotcha games, especially like in in China, if if even a male character is introduced, they will riot. Like mm -hmm. it is, it is World War Three when, when, when the men of China who consume the gotchas, when, when a male character is introduced, like, like a male character has literally been removed from a game. The game producers had to apologize for putting in a male character. Yeah. So the fact that this is doing well, that's that's actually shocking. Yeah. So let me. Uh, so, uh, so right mm -hmm. over here, this okay. This is in August. Oh, it is. It is in China. It's not worldwide. It's in China. So it's doing well in China. Yeah, it is. So AFK Journey is number one. And in August of this year, I made $38 million. Yeah, my ad fee keeps getting AFK Journey. I, I don't know why. I don't know if, if it's really a good game or if it's the new Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, man, this is doing really well. Uh, let's go ahead and continue watching this. <laughs> Triggering my senses has only touched the surface. Is there anything else you want me to do? This is gay as fuck. Uh, uh, in a guy's point of view, because that, that's a female's hand. Yeah, 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 that's like, a woman's yeah. hand. And so th this trope actually only started catching on, this shaving thing only started catching on in like the past five or six years or so. Usually that was a very niche I hate that I know these things. This was a very niche part of the art world. And it's a fascinating one to watch the trend change that as other fetishes and, and tags were censored and chased off, obviously replacements came up. But this shaving thing has actually become really popular in the last, uh, last couple of years. Oh, man. If I still haven't felt it, does this mean I'm a lost cause? Oh, at this rate, I could end up in a little. Oh, uh, I see that, that. That's when I'm like, I can't. I can't really gay. It. It's super gay. I always say, oh, make so much money with this kind of an advert. I'm not complaining. I just genuinely want to know. <laughs> I guess you have to play it for. It's all, the thing is, it's only in China. The game oh. is only available in China. Uh, as according to that gotcha what? list, its what? region is in CN only. But it, it, you, I'm pretty sure you can probably find it. I, I'm not sure. Yeah. Why? Why is the voiceover and it? Why is the voiceover and thanks English? English? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Madam Savvy, you will probably. I'm pretty sure you're gonna play it. You're gonna try to look for it and play it. And oh, yeah. Yeah, it. As soon as we're done here, as soon as I go upstairs or whatever, I'm I'm gonna try to download it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, only, now I know where where that fine art came from. I'm I'm ready to experience it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm a simple woman. Yeah, I see short white hair. Mildly athletic build. Hmm. Yeah, this this definitely looks like like adult. Like it could be. Then yeah, so the far all this is is just like a sex thing. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. What's the gameplay? I I don't think they're gonna show it. I don't think they can. I think that's already the game. That's the gameplay. You know, you're yeah. shaving, you're shaving them. Yeah, you're it, shaving. <laughs> Bill's already using VPN. Shut up! <laughs> I'm going to ask for too gentle. I'm working and not allowed to do anything else. 
I guess it's like this is like like six guys. I know. So the, the, this blue haired kid guy, whatever, whatever he is, I know that there's an eight minute video of him acting extra. Apparently, he's he's extra, and so people like him because all he does is bitch and moan. Oh. Wait, is he kissing a guy there? I think this is. I think this is the girl. I don't know. Whatever. Let's go back. I like that. Yeah, that's oh, a yeah. girl. Eight seven. No, I can download Love in Deep Space. You can? Yeah. It's just <laughs> on the app store. It says age is 12 plus. What? What? <laughs> 12 plus? There's no fucking way. Unless like this is a second app. Oh man. Downloading it. <laughs> 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 I won't know. Yeah, I think that's the gameplay. In mode of misty invasion. It's gotta be something else. Hang on, let me... That's a lot of strength. Oh my god. <laughs> and you're putting in a lot of effort! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah, see, it doesn't look like a PG-13 game. Yeah. This has to be something else because there's there's no preview of that in the actual app store because they're calling it something and it sounds what? like an expansion. Yeah, it might be Wait, an ex I, I, a Misty Invasion I, trailer. I, I think the title is Misty Invasion. I think that's the title. No, it has to be Love and Deep Space and I think that Misty Invasion is it might be like a... Like a, Nothing comes it, up for Misty Invasion. I think it might be like a um like a release that's in the game. Oh man, the thirst is real. You're shaving sim. Oh my god. Yeah, as that's as long as you're only shaving the face, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> if you're helping the guy husk the corn, I don't want to see that shit, man. That's not one I've come across as being very popular. <laughs> you're putting in a lot of effort. I mean, he's naked in a bathtub. Yeah. Omnipotent perception. What? what? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh man. I, wait, I have no. Sorry, chat. I have no control of Philip's gay powers. They're too strong. <laughs> my god. That is the gameplay. Yeah, it's it's touch screen. It's it's timed. It's like literally like. So they took the dating sim element of gotcha games and went a step further and actually created a dating simulator for these characters. I think so. Yeah, that sums it up. I'm gonna have to do so much research <laughs> for science. Yeah, it looks like the bottom is like it's like auto, so auto plays for you. you. Have to do it harder. And you, oh my! <laughs> Bathroom series. Oh. What is this? Oh my! Oh man! What bathroom do you want your husbando to be in? Oh shit! Oh, oh okay. I like that. I like that color combination. Oh, white silk with white hair. Mm. Oh. Love in deep space. Yeah, this might be like a new like release or something. Oh. <laughs> Before you play Love in Deep Space. What? Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.